strong is a Monster Hunter longsword according to science? The first thing we need to do is figure out just how long and heavy a longsword from Monster Hunter is. Luckily, this has already been done for us. A real-life, one-to-one -one replica of the Mizutsune longsword has been made, and it came in at 8.2 feet long and 330 pounds. That's about 100 times heavier than your average katana. This isn't a sword. This is a kaiju's executioner blade. So how hard would it be to swing these things? Great question. Let's talk leverage. Since we would be at an extreme mechanical disadvantage by having the center mass of the sword be so far away from our body, this would be way harder than it seems at first. For reference, swinging this thing at even normal sword speeds would be the same as playing baseball with a 10-foot section of railroad track as a bat. This would require more raw strength than doing bicep curls with a full-grown gorilla attached to each side of the bar. That's not fast enough! As we can see here, Monster Hunters swing these long swords so fast that the swing is actually invisible to the human eye. In order for this to happen, they would have to swing the long sword at a minimum of 180 miles an hour. That's two and a half times faster than a professional baseball player swings their bat in a game. This would require as much torque as a commercial jet during takeoff, deadlifting 27,000 pounds, or if we use my favorite unit of measurement, this is the same as 58 Toyota Corollas punching it at the exact same time. Don't leave yet, it gets crazier. What would this do to the human body? First, your shoulders would be instantly dislocated and then your arms would be ripped from your body before the blade even began to move. The rotational force would cause massive spinal compression and instantly rupture the majority of your vertebrae. Your muscles would tear from the bone and they would generate so much heat that they would cause burns on your flesh. You would basically become a pile of human creme brulee from one swing. To withstand this, the Monster Hunter's tendons would need to be stronger than carbon fiber and previous science checks out as their bones would need to be 10 times stronger than titanium and have heat resistant flesh. Wait! There's more! Swinging a blade that's this large and this heavy has other implications as well. This swing would create a wind gust strong enough to knock people off their feet up to 16 feet away. And it would create a shockwave strong enough to burst the eardrums of anybody within 6 feet. So how strong is a longsword swing with a Monster Hunter? With this weapon and a Monster Hunter's strength, they could pierce three feet into a solid concrete wall and even puncture through tank armor. They could slice clean through the thickest redwood trunk without even slowing down and completely sever an eight foot thick solid steel pillar. You could stack 15 Toyota Corollas on top of each other and a Monster Hunter could cut them in half from top to bottom. A monster would need to have tissue and bones made of high carbon solid steel and scales made of modern tank armor to resist being severed in one single swing. 